grid connected solar rooftop system without batteries. In the system, solar panels are installed at the roof of building using suitable mounting structures. The cables from these solar panels are connected to DC junction box. DC cables are then to grid connected solar inverter through an isolator switch. The output of solar inverter is connected to AC distribution box of building. Well, the AC distribution box is also connected to electricity meter. We can see the same connections in this scheme. In a grid tied solar system, we need to replace the existing meter with net meter. Net meter has capability to record both the import and export of electrical energy. Net meter will be installed by your state electricity authorities. This is net meter. It looks similar to your existing meter. Here we can see the screen of solar inverter in a project. Energy produced in a day is 4.7 kWh. Total energy produced is 717.7 kWh. Along with time and power values, let us understand the saving on grid connected solar power system, considering the example of 10 kW system. A residential consumer has monthly bill of rupees 10,000. Monthly energy consumption, that is units import from grid, is 1444 kWh as 1 kW solar system generated 4 units per day. So, energy generated by solar system will be 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 30. It will be 1200 units. Now, the net billable unit will be 1444 1200, that is 244 units. So, the monthly amount payable is rupees 1586. Considering the monthly savings of solar system, the payback period is around 5 to 6 years. Installing solar project also has other benefits, such as tax depreciation, fuel saving, cost saving and it is environment friendly. A, a 10 kW solar plant will reduce 14 tons of carbon dioxide emission and will save 51 trees annually.